Hi, I'm Tim Preby with TNS Web Design in Oklahoma City. So far we've looked at how to create and edit pages, create and edit posts, and add pages to the menu. Now let's take a look at the details behind the visual editor in WordPress. Here we are editing a page on the back end of our WordPress website. We'll go ahead and look at some of the basic functionality here of the visual editor. The editor will let you highlight words, make them bold, make them italic, draw a line through them, also called strike through, or do any combination of those. Keep in mind that some styles on your actual website may not look exactly like they look in this visual editor. You can see that these words with strike through have also turned red, but when we click preview changes, they're not red. They simply have a line through them, but are still black. In addition, you can create lists. The lists are either unordered or ordered. Unordered simply means they have bullets next to them, where ordered means they're a numbered list. Let's click on unordered. We'll go ahead and hit enter to add additional items to the list. If instead we wanted to simply go to the next line but remain on the same list item, we would go to the end of a specific list item, hold down shift on our keyboard, and hit enter. Again, we can highlight all of these and change them to an ordered list so that they have numbers instead. But for now, let's leave them as an unordered list and we'll preview our changes. Again, you can see the bullets do not look the same on the actual website as they do on the back end. Let's go ahead and save our progress so far. We can also insert links. We'll simply highlight the text we want, click on insert edit link. If you already know the address or URL of the link you want to insert, simply add it here. Otherwise, if you're going to link to a blog entry or another page on your site, you can click on Link to Existing Content down here and simply search for it. Let's link to a contact page. You click on it, it fills it in up here, and then you can simply select Add Link. If we decide to get rid of that link, we simply have to click on it and then click the unlink button. We can also change the alignment of a paragraph to centered or to left aligned. Let's preview those changes and if we decide we don't like how that looks we can simply click its current alignment and it will change back to the default. If you have a quote on your web page, either from a testimonial or maybe an excerpt from someone's blog or an excerpt from a book, we can make it into what's called a block quote. We simply highlight the paragraph we want quoted and click on these quote marks up here. You'll see in the editor that it indents the block quote. On your actual live website, the display may vary. Keep in mind that when you use a block quote, you do create it around an entire paragraph or series of paragraphs. You can't just block quote one or two words or they become their own paragraph as well. If we made both of those a block quote, then you can see they're both formatted together on our live site.
those are the basic options of the visual editor. We do have an option here to insert a more tag. That is only used uh, in blog posts and your theme may or may not make use of that functionality. We can do spell checking here. If your browser does not already support spell checking, you can see from these red underlines our browser does. You can also click toggle full screen mode and that will make your editor take up the whole page. Some people think better and can create and write better when their editor takes up the entire page. Let's exit full screen. Other plugins and your theme may have additional options over here to the right. We have a plugin available that lets us insert a table. We'll go ahead and show the second row of options by clicking on this button that says show slash hide kitchen sink. Now we can add additional formatted text. Let's add a heading level. Some of these heading levels may not be good for SEO on your website. On this particular site we have a warning next to any heading level that's not good for SEO. So we'll change it to H3. Then if we had another heading down here, there was a subsection we would want to use the next logical heading, which would be H4. Let's go ahead and preview those changes, and we can see what it looks like. Here you can also underline text, although keep in mind, online, when people see underlined text, they generally expect it to be a hyperlink. We can also align full the text. However, in this case, keep in mind that fully aligned text, while improving readability in books and the printed word, has been shown to decrease readability online. So we'll turn that off. We can also change the text color on specific text if we want. But we'll go ahead and turn that off. If you're pasting text into your visual editor from Word, you'll want to use this Paste from Word and then paste all your text in here and click Insert. You can do the same for text from other sources in Paste as Plain Text. Pasting your text in this way avoids any troublesome issues since Word likes to insert extra HTML code that may break other things on your website. You can also remove all formatting by highlighting the area you want to remove the formatting from and clicking this eraser. However, that does not remove strike throughs, so you have to go through and remove those yourself. If you need to insert a special character, you can click on this button up here and there are many characters available for your use. Finally, there are some indention options, some undo options, and even some help options on the second toolbar. Thanks for watching. Next time we're going to look at how to restore old versions of WordPress pages. Remember, if you're a TNS client, you can give us a call to schedule your Q&A training session. Our number is 405-285-0348.